Hello, just Jamie here. So this is a tutorial for the infamous Philips CDI. Uh, infamous in that it costs a lot of money when it came out and there doesn't appear to be too many great games on it. Uh, the library is Edutainment Games, uh, but there is a few games on there and there are some really obscure titles on the CDI, uh, such as a couple of Zelda games and even a Mario game, uh, a game called Burn Cycle. Uh, so the Philips CDI, it was a massive failure in terms of the machine hardware costs far too much in the early 90s and other things was on the horizon so uh, this is your tutorial to get you up and started with Philips CDI emulation. Uh, some of you might like this, some of you might not, I understand why you might not, but like I say in my other videos, my plan is to make tutorials on every single emulator known to man. So let's get on with this. Uh, so first thing, we need to go to uh, cdimu.org and the link is in my description for this. If you head over to the left and go to the downloads tab, uh, there's many files here, uh, zip folders rather. So the one you need to download, and this one works fine for me on my Windows 11 laptop, is uh, cdimu 0.5.2 zip. I will say limited edition. Uh, the unlimited editions, it costs around 25 euros. Uh, that will unlock a few extra features. Uh, so let's just go ahead and download this zipped folder of uh, 0.5.2. So it'll just take a few seconds to download depending on your connection. And what I'm going to do uh, before anything is just create a new folder by right clicking on desktop. Uh, go to folder and I'm going to name this one uh, CDI and what I'm going to do I'm going to just drag out this uh, folder I've just downloaded this zip folder and it will say one on there because I've just downloaded this prior to the tutorial to uh, make sure everything's running uh, and what I'm going to do once I've opened up this zip folder um, I'm going to just literally just highlight everything by left clicking at the bottom here and dragging the cursor up to highlight everything and just left click and just drag all those contents into the CDI file which I've just created. So before we get into this any further you will need uh, a BIOS file and you of course will need your own game. Uh, so formats for this emulator CDI MU is a bin.q format and also ISOs. Uh, CHD files will not work point blank by the seams of it. So let's just get on with this tutorial and uh, go into our CDI folder. So you've got many subfolders inside here. So your BIOS file uh, needs to go inside of the ROM subfolder. Uh, the BIOS file I have is a CDI 220B. So if we just open up that subfolder and left click in drag and drop inside there. And your game needs to go into this subfolder and this one is called disk. So double left click disk and open up or just drag in your game, which uh, is in a the folder there as we can see. And if we just look in that folder, uh, you'll see we got the queue and we also got a disk image file, which is an ISO.ISO file. So all that's good to go. Uh, so next thing is you need to open up the program itself. So there's a couple of applications at the bottom here. One is a terminal and the other one is the application itself. So a second from the bottom, just double left click and you'll be greeted with this uh, registration thing. And this is simply because I've not paid for this emulator, uh, but some of you out there might want to pay for it just to get added features. So if I didn't put my BIOS uh, ROM into the ROM subfolder just a minute ago, uh, it would remind me. So just do that part first. Now uh, the thing you're all going to be interested in is how does the games run. So uh, to do this all we need to do is left click on file. If we go to open. And then if this doesn't default to uh, the directory, then just search for your directory and open up your game. So Hotel Mario and double left click on that 
And from here, I'm gonna just go to Emulate tab and start. So this next screen is simply uh, the Philips CDI uh, asking you what to do. What do you want to look at settings for the system, memory, uh, open the disk tray. Um, so in this case, we're just going to go to play CDI, uh, CDI Interactive. And to get a full screen of this, all you need to do here is just Follow my cursor, there's a little button at the top here, so full screen. And I've plugged in my usual PS3 six axis controller. I've not even needed to configure this for this emulator, it seems to auto configured. So just like the 3DO, which I covered previously, uh, lots of full motion video uh, going on, and this is of course Hotel Mario. So yeah, some love it, some hate it. Um, I'm, a, I'm not sure what to think of this one, to be honest with you. The princess is now a permanent guest at one of my seven Koopa hotels. I dare you to find. So it was unlike any Mario game you would see. It's probably as experimental as something like Mario was missing on the Super Nintendo. So I'm guessing the aim of this game is, I think, from YouTube videos I've watched over the years. I think somehow you uh, got to uh, bring Mario up to the top or collect the coins or something. Ah, uh, there we go. Uh, I really have no idea how to play this game. It's the only Mario game I've never really bothered with. So we've just got a little window pop up, and this is just to remind you if you want to pay, then pay or continue using the free version. So to reset the emulator, there's a R button at the top here, just left click on that one. And there's also another tab at the top here, which says restore. If you go on to that, you'll get your uh, minimized window back again. Uh, there isn't many features on this. Uh, there's no upscaling as such, it's quite a basic emulator. And uh, by the seams of the developer, he last updated this around a year and a half, two years back. So I'm sure uh, someone out there will take an interest in this tutorial. If you've got any more questions, check out my Patreon. I can answer all your questions there. Uh, check out my other emulation videos. I do some really obscure emulation videos, such as the Atari Jaguar and the 3DO and Sinclair. I put myself through all this just to help you people. So until next time, thanks for watching and take care.